Hello, Team Falcon. Uh, coming here with a exciting match, to say the least. Uh, we found it on Smogon, and it's against Death Chicken 97, I believe. And uh, well, this team was made in light, uh, or in honor, if you will, of the most recent election. Uh, it's, it's a monotype team with uh, all the Pokemon with the word elect in their name, and they will all be running for various services in this country. Um, so, uh, without further ado, I suppose we shall start this match. So we, uh, it's kind of weird, his name's DC, as in Washington. Anyway, we start off with the current president running for re-election, Mr. Ross. Um, as the other team sets up taxing spikes, that could uh, be very detrimental to the economy uh, in the second term. So, we see it fit, and the cabinet sees it fit that we retreat and we send out Evire. The next president running for election, he doesn't get a chance because he's just, the economy is too bad, he gets blown out of there. And Mr. Rode running for senator, very qualified, very, very qualified. I highly recommend that you send your votes toward him as he goes for the Thunderbolt and it takes a huge chunk just paralyzed, he doesn't even know what to do, he can't even move but he's very stingy and therefore must switch out at the next turn, we're getting taxed it's really, really adding up and Magneton takes the Thunderbolt instead of the Drapion, doesn't take nearly as much damage uh, and Rhodes' time of debate is over, and the floor is now given to Ross, the current president of, of Unova, and he gets his leftovers, uh, his, his right-unders, if you will, and out comes this terrorist Dusknoir, a mortal enemy of ours. As Ross, defending his country as commander-in-chief, burns the foe, right in his tracks and the only purpose of this dust noir is a suicide attempt to uh, burn our current president and the will-o'-wisp hits severely crippling our current president of Unova as we go for the flamethrower on the next turn which was voted in by Congress um, later passed on to the Senate and the House of Representatives. We went for a flamethrower in, in the case that he decided to switch into some other sort of foe, such as the Septile. Septile, otherwise known as the legalization. Just look at this thing. He wants, well, that's a different topic. Anyway, we go for the flamethrower roasting this already baked foe, and since the flamethrower was not enough to get the KO, weed is now legalized in Colorado and Washington. We're sorry, President Ross. In any event, the Giga Drain is enough to take down the president. He cannot do much more at this point. It is beyond his power. It is beyond what the president is allowed to do in this country, which is where the senator, Mr. Rode, comes in. And uh, he definitely needs to be elected because this hidden power ice is enough to outspeed and uh, KO this worthy opponent. He gets ta taxed some more, so he's about at half health, and he goes down to a psycho cut. And I'm kind of curious as to why Aftermath did not kick in there. In any event, this... Uh, Apprentice, if you will, Mr. Reich comes in, thinking he can outspeed Choice Scarfed, timid and all, but he is merely an apprentice. He is not ready for the big leagues, such as Rick, who takes a critical hit with mild ease. He could have taken it better if it were not a crit, but these sorts of things happen, and Rick is ready to bounce back as vice president and go for the protect to try and toxic stall, but you see he can predict into the future this Magneton can, as he sets up a substitute knowing we cannot touch him, 
and our time of debate is over and this magneton is sitting pretty behind a substitute as it goes for a hidden power. We are not sure what type. We were hoping he would go for the thunder or the electric attack in hopes that we would get motor drive. So the, <coughs> the president running for election, well, current governor rather, does not get to see much action as the taxes are too much for him. He cannot take the taxes. So a buzz running for treasurer comes in knowing that he can take down this magneton with one hidden power ground and he does so. Now after the taxation he is left at about 238 hit points and since he is timid he is, he is able to outspeed Scyther and take down this threat and as of now it is such a close match he has one person left two people left as he sends out his Drapion and we take it down with a hidden power ground kind of rhymed but he has his last Pokemon left I don't know if you remember what it was but it was the choice scarfed Metacham which outspeeds all of our Pokemon so one attack and we are gone and he misses the high jump kick as we prevail with Thunderbolt therefore taking down this Metacham in all of its glory so, that is why you should le elect a buzz and leave a comment saying who you think won and who you would vote for. And just rape, comment, and subscribe.